Biotechnology in the Future, 2050. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. All the curious minds who are seeking future endeavors, here we bring the future of biotechnology before your eyes. So, what would be in 2050? How does artificial biology shape our lives in 2050? Excited to know? Join us in today's video to examine how innovative AI transfers biotechnology to a new corner in the near future. Before that, subscribe to our YouTube channel to enjoy more videos. Biotechnology is going to change the whole world into a new unbelievable corner through innovative tech wizardry. Have you ever imagined that bioprinting would come into our lives? In 2050, live, lab-grown organs would be a great advancement of bioprinting. Transplant recipients who expect to have an organ donation won't have to wait for years. Scientists and researchers are in the process of introducing safer and healthier methods of organ transplants with the aid of 3D bioprinting. Furthermore, these specialist 3D bioprinters are integrated to build living organ parts, human tissues, and even tiny organs by layering cells and biocompatible materials. Do you know what happens there? It encourages tissue regeneration. Specialized organs and tissues may be created and it would recognize as the patient's own cells. Therefore, it reduces organ rejection. This concept has been embraced by many patients already and they prefer to give their own biopsied adult stem cells to bioprinting facilities. Most people are waiting impatiently in the critical need of kidneys, livers, and other organ donations each year. So, the lab-grown organs would be such an incredible turning point where inanimate objects come to life. Hey! Not only that we have got another fascinating marvel of 3D bioprinting transfers in the future. So, now we will have a visit to the deep ocean. It's about 3D printing of coral reefs. This is not merely a word, there's an amazing biological mechanism hidden behind this. Coral reefs have become a victim of disappearing due to rapid coastal urbanization and global warming. So, the researchers are continuously doing observations on complex coral natural formations of the coastal area. One such research area is the coast of Eilat, Israel. Do you know how these amazing creations are built? At first, they have scanned thousands of underwater photos. Accordingly, a 3D model of a coral reef is meticulously generated considering every parameter. Moreover, they have collected environmental genetic data from the living creatures in the reef. So, a parametric interactive model that contains a ceramic reef is created. The ceramic material supports the survival of marine life and also fulfills the needs of the afflicted area through construction and restoration. So, what do you think? The combination of the 3D scanning algorithm with environmental DNA collection and the 3D printing algorithm would be a revolution in 2050. It will largely assist in coral reef conservation and reproduction of the complex ecosystems. Also, protect the richness and beauty of actual coral environments, including corals, fish, and invertebrates. How wonderful if you could breathe purified air whenever you are entering into a room. Sounds scientific? Well, this is the Advanced Biotechnological Application, BioWalls. It's an air filtration technology that can transform the air we breathe. The plants that are grown in an air-permeable growing medium are the key processors of this wonderful procedure. The roots of the plants absorb volatile organic molecules from the air. It performs a critical function in air circulation by eliminating hazardous substances properly. Biowalls that include these plants enhance the indoor air quality. Biowall follows a unique systematic strategy of HVAC which is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. HVAC-based biowall not only provides cleaner, healthier air for residents but also offers an environmentally responsible and long-lasting solution to indoor air pollution. This is a sustainable method that combines nature and innovation together. With that, do you feel like a secure life that elevates you into a good living? Yeah, this is the astonishing future of biotechnology. Hey, have you ever imagined light-emitting plants? It would be something strange for you, bioluminescent plants. This is a vast beneficial application that would serve every one of us. The mechanism behind these bioluminescent plants is specific nanoparticles have been incorporated into the plant leaves. How fantastic! They could charge by being exposed to an LED light source. 
If it is charged for 10 seconds, it would emit a bright light that can last for a few minutes. It makes an infinite number of cycles of illumination as it is a repeatable process. Combining the potential of live plants and their chemical energy for illumination has become the major source in the process. In this approach, small nanoparticles are injected into the plants through little leaf pores called stomata. They are employed in a suitable form to absorb visible or ultraviolet light and then gently release it as a soft, persistent glow. As we talked about bioluminescent plants, let me bring you another application of this bioluminescent concept. In the future, the streets will be lighted up with bioluminescent lamps. It is such an extraordinary discovery. Do you believe if I said that DNA can store data? What do you think? Yeah, it sounds crazy. But DNA storage is an innovative wonder that gives us a glimpse into a new future. DNA is the very code of life. It has become a high-density data storage medium with the rapid evolution of biotechnology. Scientists are working on directly encoding binary data by stimulating electrically the chromosomes of living cells. So, a specially designed CRISPR adaption system is used to store various sized digital data inside bacterial cells. You will get into the CRISPR method at the end of this video. So, coming back to the DNA storing, it uses multiplex data encoding. This is done by developing distinctive DNA. So, unique DNA strands are created in one building block at a time. Information is encoded in these building blocks in the same way as binary encoding used in conventional computers. Therefore, it provides the capacity to store important data of barcode cell populations. Data that are stored in DNA can survive for generations. That's not all, imagine the situation in which deleting your hefty magnetic hard disks that need replacing frequently. You would not have to worry, the future day will offer you the opportunity to use DNA storage which is highly durable and also incredibly little. Well, this is how biotechnology will emerge from embedding digital data into living cells to changing DNA data storage in 2050. It's really interesting to explore the combination of both biology and technology. Oh, wait! The sudden emergence of artificial intelligence is a key advancement that drives this enormous biotechnological era. So, would you like to get to know how robotic technology is intertwined with these biological changes? Robotic exoskeletons that have the potential to help persons with injuries and partial paralysis are amazing. It has already been demonstrated in the world. But, it is going to be more expanded in the future. So, these exoskeletons will made out of more compact, lighter, more flexible materials that can work more efficiently. Hey, yet another fact about artificial intelligence AI, in biotechnology is drug discovery. It is a change in the way we think about medicinal chemistry. With the incredible improvement of computing technology along with developments in machine learning and deep learning, complex artificial neural network learning AI has taken the forefront in drug discovery. Accordingly, they are designing the de novo molecular and predict the synthesis using several structure-based models. The AI algorithms will help to analyze vast databases of chemical compounds. This paves the way to identify potential drug targets and genes associated with different diseases. However, this advancement in drug discovery will outperform the traditional approaches in chemoinformatics in 2050. Hey, that's not all, if we looked more into the healthcare industry, breaking the limitations of fear, the most sensitive and specific body part restoration would come to light. Lost vision restoration or even enhancement will be facilitated by ocular implants. Artificial cochlea and ear bones may use to restore hearing loss. Soft tissue injuries require years of surgery and recovery. New biotechnology assists in minimizing the impact of this issue through the pulses of light-driven optogenetic stimulators. Brain implantation will be more popular and familiar in the coming decades. So, this innovation will solve neurological disorders and brain damage through successful brain-to-brain -brain and machine-to-brain communication. Replacement limbs have already been a helping hand to disabled people. Today, these prosthetic limbs are made by connecting to nerve pathways. They can identify stimulating nerves with electrodes that produce vibration, pressure, and temperature sensations. So, disabled people can offer sensory feedback. 
But, in 2050, this will be more effective and modernized by resembling limbs that they can feel real. Most people will find hope as well as better comfort in life when this technology becomes more widely available in the near future. Oh! Will there be hackers in biotechnology too? So, who are these biohackers? Biohackers are some of whom do not stick to the rules of science. They have a typical hacker ethos and sometimes work to support the democratization of science. When talking about biohacking, CRISPR technology is something important. CRISPR is an amazing tool used by scientists. It permits precise editing of genomic sequences. It functions as a two-part. One is the CRISPR guide which is the molecular address. The other part is Cas9 foot which acts as a scissor-like protein. This combination assists in searching the genome for a specific DNA sequence. So, the biohackers make revolutionary attempts through what is possible using CRISPR to accomplish self-improvement and human enhancement. So, they use the CRISPR technology for genetic editing and human development breaking every barrier. They make innovative approaches by successfully delivering CRISPR into cells. One such biohacking approach is electromuscle stimulation for strong power, cardio, strength, and injury rehab building. Yet another attempt is to prevent someone from getting older. Sometimes, you may have seen this astounding biohacking through science fiction. However, this can affect both positively and negatively to our lives. Some of the positive biohacking includes a minimum of effective exercise, microbiome awareness, nutritional optimization done by monitoring daily meals, sleep enhancement through the correct hygiene patterns, intermittent fasting which regulates blood sugar and overall health, and sauna therapy with cardiovascular and relaxing benefits. However, though these biohackers' intention was merely to discover the invention going beyond the traditional system, some results would be harmful. As an example, some uncontrollable viruses and bacteria may create it as a result of these experiments. So, there is a potential to spread them all around the world. It will lead to dangerous diseases and thousands of deaths as well. So, guys, you have come to the end of our awe-inspiring discussion on biotechnology in the future of 2050. However, biotechnology is attested by this forward-thinking technology. With the emerging technological advancements and artificial intelligence, biotechnology would address the prevailing global problems and bring you limitless possibilities. It would definitely usher forth a new era of human potential. It is in the not-too-distant future of 2050. Subscribe to our channel. If you find this video more insightful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching.